Hello, we're back. So now we're going to try and get this back together and put it back in the uh, dump truck and hopefully get it to work. I've ordered the brake shoes, uh, which are here. They're the same. As, they are the same as Triumph Herald rear brake shoes and Spitfires, things like that. But that's the um, part number. Oh, Reliant three wheeler. Herald and Spitfire. So they're the rear shoes. Obviously, they're a pack of. Well, they're an axle set, so they're four shoes, which is twice as many as I need. But uh, these are the fellas, anyway. So they'll go there and there. So we need to get this off. I've got all the other parts as well that I've taken off ages ago um, that make it all work. So we'll put this together. Well, take it apart first. Take, cut these off, replace the nuts and bolts, take the brake shoes off, clean it up, put the new brake shoes on, and um, clean up the drum, and then try and assemble it all. The, there's a couple of tricky things to do. This spring is the actual spring that, engage, that holds the clutch on. Uh, this, that goes there, then that thing's on top of it, and that's pulling on this rod, which is pulling out these two rollers which in turn pulls out the shoes, which engages the clutch. So I need to um, uh, compress this so that I can get it all back together. So anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So now we'll take this apart and see what we can do here. Right, we'll clean this up. So then if we do need to pull this off sometime in the future for either, either the shoes will be worn out or an oil seal or whatever, obviously it's supposed to come off really easily, which if these threads had all been all nice and clean, it would have taken no time at all to get it off. Right, that's them. So, how does this work? What I might do, while I can take them out, I might put lots of grease in now. I'll use copper slip, I guess. I think that'll be the best. So, we'll take him out. On there. There's well, actually. Right, that's that. So there, that's the expander working. Well, that wasn't too bad for the, uh, the bottom one. There we 
we go. Brilliant. Right, this is ready to put on the drum now, so we'll just go and clean the drum up and make sure everything's okay there. Then we'll push this on and see what we can do. Right, what we're going to do now is just clean up the drum because it'll be all oily and horrible. Uh, I don't want to clean it up too much because obviously it's, it, it was all perfectly right before. But we'll just spray a bit of brake cleaner on there. That's the key that the, the bit we're going to slide on that obviously keys into that so that it spins uh, the gearbox. I'll just put a tiny bit of copper slip on this shelf just to help it in case we do have to take it off sometime in the future it's, or someone does just make it a little bit easier that's the keyway that the uh, woodruff key goes into so hopefully this will just kind of push on that's it and now I think I need to give that a bit of a belt just to get it on. So I'll use a piece of wood and a hammer. You always need a hammer. There, when that pulls out, it, engage, it makes those shoes expand. So this bit then grips this bit. I oh, need to put the um, clutch release parts on and then press the clutch down to compress that spring so I can do that nut on that little rod. That might be a bit tricky. I forgot to put this on. This was on the, uh, the expander thing for the, that actually puts the, I can't, it held the something together. But luckily put new nuts and bolts on so it should be quite easy to pull it off again. Right, well, can you believe it? I've put the, um, luckily I put all those nuts and bolts on, new nuts and bolts, and I put copper slip on the shaft, just in case someone in the future needed to take this off. I didn't quite realise it would be me five minutes later. But, uh, so, we'll have, uh, I'm getting good at this now. Right, let's pull that off. Oh, look at that, easy. A couple of videos before this one, I'm taking this off and it, I got, I trimmed the video down to about, uh, I don't know, 11 minutes, but it was, it was near on 40 minutes or something of me messing around trying to get this off. Whereas it should be as simple as this, which is a couple of minutes, literally. There, the clip goes on just there. Oh, that's it, on. <laughs> we'll try again. Spring goes on there. Then this is the this is the release bearing. Yeah, let's put a bit of grease on this actually whilst we're here. Right, you missed that. Well, you didn't miss anything really, but I, I, was, I just couldn't get the, um, that spring to compress with any levers or anything. So what I've done, I don't know if this will work, but I squashed it in the vise and put some cable ties around it, which obviously is it's, um, a bit sketchy. Oh, it's a lot better. Yeah, so that can go there. Now, if I can get this arm on, Oh, 
Ah, that's much easier. Oh, there we go. That's on. Right. Brilliant. That is good. I got it. So this go. That thing goes on the end of this thread a bit, so it pulls the those roller things apart. I think I can take the cable ties off here. Yeah, we need to tighten this up. That's what we need to do. And then that won't come out as far. And if I put my foot on the clutch, that'll fall out. There we go. All right, that's about right, I think. So the adjustment's up there. So let's tighten that up. I'll adjust this so that it's actually engaged and then hopefully when uh, let's put that there hopefully when my foot's on the clutch it'll be disengaged I'm probably not doing this correctly but I think it'll work so this will have to be my foot for now yeah so that's disengaged and that's engaged but it's working there, which is good. It goes on and off, which is what we were looking for. Uh, so that's kind of it. I need a couple of split pins in these, uh, these things. And then what I'll do, I'll uh, load it onto the trailer. I don't think I'll do that now because it's nearly home time, but I'll load it on the trailer, take it home. But I'll also take this spanner with me in case I need to adjust it, um, which will be dead easy when it's, uh, when it's actually working and doing stuff. So uh, that's it. That was... Relatively straightforward, I think. I'm glad uh, it all happened um, without anything breaking or, uh, or, or the, you know, nothing particularly odd to, to get. I, I thought it was a spring that was broken, but it was just the shoe that had come apart. Anyway, that's it. So, uh, yeah, next time you'll see me, we'll put it on the dump truck and take it home and uh, make sure it all works. Okie dokie, see you again. Bye. In fact, what I might do just before I go home, I'll just get it down, start it up, and see if it actually works. Because it'd be interesting to know. Decompression lever off. Could use it does work i think i do need to adjust it a bit because the pedal's just a little bit high but piece of cake i'll do that uh, when it's at home because it's uh, uh it's fine so yeah that's it cheerio bye